Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. I want to give a very special shout out to all of our premium subscribers who get to listen to all these stories completely ad free. If you want to join our premium crew, head on over to heymrjim.com slash premium for a 14 day free trial today. Today's story comes to us from Annika, who's turning five. Happy birthday, Annika. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too, let's go! It was a rainy day today, which meant that it was it was a day that Annika needed to stay inside and play with some toys that she had. She loved playing outside, but inside was pretty fun too. She was very creative and was really good at building all kinds of different things for her toys to jump around in. Her favorite toy, Fifi, was often missing. She was in a little elephant, uh, like a stuffed animal elephant, but she felt like it was always never in the place where she last left it. Have you ever had a toy like that where it just seems to disappear, like walk off by itself? Well, toys don't actually walk off by themselves, right? Or do they? Annika is about to find out a pretty surprising answer to that question. Annika was creating a whole world with castles and forests and all kinds of things for all of her toys to play in. But she really needed Fifi for this one. Her elephant was definitely her favorite and always loved to go in the castle. Have you guys seen Fifi? She yelled down to her parents. Hey, Annika, uh, no. Where was the last you left her? I always leave her in my bed, but she always... Goes missing. And I was just wondering if you've seen her, said Annika. No, but (laughs) I don't think Fifi is just going to walk off by herself. Just keep looking around. I'm sure you'll find her, said her parents. Annika had already looked in all the places that Fifi might be. She was not there. Wait a second, Annika said. Why is the window open? It's raining. Who opened this window? Annika walked over and closed the window. Annika jumped back. What was that sound? Who said that? Who's over? Wait, Fifi? Annika was completely shocked. Fifi, her stuffed animal elephant's tail was stuck in the window that she just closed. Yes, just get me out of here. Ow, ow, my tail. Oh, I'm so sorry. Annika lifted up the window, closed it, and Fifi fell down on the floor and bounced. Oof! Ouch! Well, the second. Well, I guess you know the secret now. I'm alive, said Fifi. Holy smokes! You're alive! Wait, I must be dreaming. What were you? Were you outside? What is going on here? Annika was very confused, which I can totally sympathize with because if I saw one of my stuffed animals walking around and talking, I might pass out. Yes, you are correct, said Fifi. I'm alive and I have a really important job and you have to keep it a secret. You can't tell anyone that I'm alive, okay? Okay, I I won't tell anyone you're alive, said Annika. But wait, what is this secret job that... Were you just outside? Wait, that you're all wet. You were in the rain? Yes, I was in the rain, and uh, I have a really important job. It's, it sounds silly, but it's for real. It's really real. I, I spread love and kindness everywhere. You spread love and kindness everywhere? How do you do that? Said Annika. Well, uh, you see, in, here, in this little pocket, I have some dust. And I fly over people's houses and sprinkle the dust, and that's what spreads all the love and kindness. It's kind of a fun job, but it's really important. I I have to do it rain or shine. Is that why you're always missing? I can never find you, said Annika. Yeah, well, I try to do a good job in sneaking out when they're not looking, but I guess you've been looking. Do you think I could come with you one of the times that you're going out and sprinkling all that love and kindness dust? 
Well, I don't know. It's supposed to be a secret. I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but... Yes, I, I think you could come with me just one time. One time only. Okay. Uh, what do I do? How do I get ready for this? Well, you don't need to do anything. Or you might want to put a rain jacket on because it is raining outside. Um, but I have some flying dust, and that's what helps us fly to all the different houses. You're a flying elephant? Yeah, of course. I'm little. I have little legs. I can't walk to all the different houses, so that's why I fly. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, I guess that does make sense. Said Annika. As Annika got a rain jacket on and got all her things ready to go, she held on to Fifi and walked outside through the back door. Fifi sprinkled some of that flying dust on Annika, and all of a sudden, she felt pretty funny. Whoa! I, I feel a little tingly. What's going on? Oh, that's the flying stuff. It's, it's working. So just hold on to my hand and let's go. And just like that, they started soaring up to the sky. It was really working. <laughs> Anna goes holding on to her stuffed elephant Fifi and they were really flying. Annika was still thinking this was all just a dream that she was going to wake up in her bed. But it was really fun along the way. As the rain was splashing into her face, she was still holding on to Fifi's leg because uh, Fifi knew where they were needed to go. All right, so take this powder and um, see that house over there? That's next on my list. I just have to sprinkle some of this on the house and it makes all the people inside be filled with love and kindness. Wow, this is a pretty cool job you have here. Annika pulled out the bag of the powder and sprinkled just a little bit on top of the house. Wow, is, is that it? Yep, that's it. Now let's go back to your house before the rain gets under the roofs. Yeah, because I'm getting soaked, said Annika. They carefully turned back to their house and gently landed back on the ground. They walked inside, and Annika was immediately met by her parents. Annika, what are you doing outside? Uh, um, well, I was just... You found Fifi! Oh, great! What was Fifi doing outside? Uh, well, me and Fifi were just flying around and spreading love and kindness to all the neighbors, and, uh, now we're done! <laughs> Okay, Annika. Well, I'm glad you found Fifi. Now go clean up. It's almost time for dinner. Okay. Annika and Fifi ran back up to her bedroom. Fifi, that was so awesome. Fifi, are you are you awake? Or are you sleeping? Said Annika. Fifi had turned back into a stuffed elephant. Annika was even more confused now. Was that real or was it a dream? She thought to herself and... She was pretty sure it was real, because she really did get wet from flying around outside. But over the next couple days, whenever Fifi would disappear from wherever Annika put her, she was even more convinced that Fifi was really alive and would fly around to spread love and kindness to everyone. So the next time that you're missing a stuffed animal or a toy, maybe it did come alive, just like Fifi. The End. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is, it's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Olive from St. Louis, Keho and Mayer from Los Angeles, Evelyn and Atlas from Portland, Oregon, Noah from California, Melody and Sammy from Germany, and Dean and Jack from Aruba. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family, and on our spy team, we could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew, without you, my friends, well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. <laughs> Bye!